Hello everyone and welcome back to Hutan Pantai. Uh, we are here in April. Uh, hi Gramps. Uh, but I do have some updates for you. So as you can see we are at 231,691. Uh, I have actually delivered all the required materials to the sawmill. And let me give you a quick rundown of what actually happened. So I sold... Uh, six pallets of long planks and six pallets of wood beams uh, and I got paid combined 105,553 for that. Uh, then I had to provide 12 pallets of cement bags uh, which cost me 54,000 and I got paid 45,000 for that so I basically lost around 8,500 and the total net profit of that was 97,106. So this is why we are sitting at a comfortable 231,000. Which is amazing. Um, the sawmill is still running. Let me just jump over there. We still have 5,000 and something liters. Uh, the production is running. Uh, I did cut down a few more trees in the meantime uh, as you can see most of the straight trees are gone from here now uh, so I will soon start going over there but before I do that I want to grind down all the stumps and I want to replant the forest so it regrows while we take care of the forest over there and on this side down there but we are in April and it's time to start Start to start. It's time to start planting rice. Let me just check again. Is the rice ready to be put into the ground? It is. We can put in regular rice or long grain rice. I'm not sure if I should do. I'm gonna do regular rice for all of them, and maybe if we, uh, if we get to it sometime. I will do the short grain rice. I mean long grain. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, but it's time to use this Aiziki from Japan. This is the same make as uh, this tractor is and this harvester. So let's get on it. We do have some mods. As I've said, uh, we can uh, lean in the cab. This is one of the mods which I find is the most welcome and there is also a mod where you can rent your uh, facilities for example I could rent uh, the what's it called come on the sawmill for example or any other production and provide materials you know and they produce stuff for you for a certain fee but right now we need to go and make all this happen Not sure how fast the pallets are going to go down, but isn't this cool? Wow, this is beautiful. Looks like a perfect carpet. Okay, so it looks like the planter takes one pallet at a time. 24 liters of saplings. Okay, and before I plant the rice, I need to flood the field. So I suppose this is done here. Interact. Let's flood it. So how long does this take? <laughs> so I've flooded it one month prior. Nah, it should do it in this uh, in this session. Anyway, uh, while this this is running, I will go and turn on the other two pumps. So let flood. <laughs> it's already a wet slant sound, stomping wet. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, this is us first time using the rice. 
uh, for uh, planting. And I really wonder how this will all go. That's blood. So if I'm not mistaken, this should have at least 60% water in for some time. And I do have to check for how long. But it should have at least 60%, I believe. I'm not exactly sure and I'm not completely positive about it. Okay, okay, some puddles are starting to show. I can leave the engine running. Okay, and as you can see in the distance, over there, the water is already rising. Interesting. Okay, so water level is 17%. Okay, this means that the flooding happens slowly. I don't want to empty it. Let's keep the flooding on. Uh, supposedly, this is automatically stopped where there, when there is enough water. While we wait, let me go and check the rice real quick. Uh, varieties. Okay. Wet planted rice. You need a special rice. Okay. Uh, so we have to have rice is sunny spring and has only been flooded. Okay, we are flooding the fields right now. Uh, the, this type of rice grows faster than the dry planted rice and also produces a much higher yield. Okay, cool. To plant rice you need a special Aiziki cedar. We have that already. Uh, the flooded when the plant is green when growing rice is in Important to note the field may only remain flooded for a certain period of time. If the water remains in the field for too long, a number of rice plants will die. Keep the field flooded after planting for two more months before it has to be dry for the third growth stage. So that means that we need to keep the field ah, cool. slowly filling up. We need to fill, uh, keep the field flooded for at least two more months, which means in May and June. And July has to be dry, so in July I have to empty out the field for the third growth stage. Okay, only 32%. Anyway, I will put this on a bit of a time lapse so you can see what is going on, and I'll be back when we're done. Okay, the rice paddy has done flooding. This is how it looks like. You can see the waves. Uh, I love this. Anyway, uh, we can see we are at 65% flooded. Okay, so let's start the planting procedure. Okay, do we need to unfold anything? Or do of why are we something like this so turn the planter on let's lower it and let's go and look at that it's working Cool is that? Okay, let me check. Check some kind of water plant is in between the the rice saplings. Okay, and how does this look on the inside? Okay. 
I think we also have yeah this let's see how this actually works does it leave uh okay yeah leaving spots come on get closer Yeah, I can't see anything with with the planter kind of thing. Oh, we actually, look at that, we have a rope dangling down. And this is probably the guide, isn't it? If I keep that over the last row, I should cover everything. I'm a bit messy right now. <laughs> okay. And looking at the rate we are using the saplings, I think we have uh, plenty of rice saplings for a few years now. I've used barely anything of this palette of saplings and we are what almost at the half of the field. Perfect. Yeah, I'm missing stuff. It's really hard to keep straight with this machine because yeah even that uh, bead on the rope I'm not sure I have to get some kind of a reference point it's easier from the outside yeah, it is. so yeah that bead on a rope so should go directly on the last row of planted rice for you to keep straight and to have the whole coverage okay, I'm already over that's really difficult to see it's a lot easier from this point of view I think it's time to do a time lapse because otherwise I'll be just going up and down the field and there's nothing much to it. And it looks like we have used another row of saplings that were on top. So now everything is uh, on the back, slowly going down. It's an interesting machine, I will say that. I have never seen anything like this in real life, so it's quite interesting to see how things are made around the world.
Okay, well, <coughs> this is the last of the three fields, and I'm gonna set the worker to work on it. It is uh, full of materials, so it should be good for the whole field, I think. If I need to refill it, I'm gonna bring another one with the uh, tracks like I did before, but this is it. This is the field. I don't know why some of the field actually has these plants floating in and some of the field doesn't. I'm not sure why this happens, but it happens and I suppose there's no damage or anything bad to it, at least I don't think so. So what happens if I... oh look, I missed... <laughs> I missed two rows. And the whole row over here, oh, okay, never mind. Um, so yeah, let me check the growth, no crop type, no soil composition. Yeah, it doesn't really look like. Yeah, looks good. Very well then. Okay, so because I have just a sprinkle. You have to think about the future. Okay, I've got another uh, achievement. Let's check our production. So, grain mill is almost out of flour. Uh, rice saplings. Uh, I can turn this off actually because we have so much. We have enough for the whole next year. Mushrooms. There is still half, uh, half water, and sawmill is slowly trickling down. Plant get enough. A little help can go a long way. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that we don't actually see what uh, the actual stuff is that is that leads to this uh, to these achievements. Okay. Now, I was informed that you supposedly can refill the water tanker from the rice paddy. And it doesn't affect the level of water in the field. So let's put that theory to a test. Sure. Why don't we? Okay, let me firstly empty the water. Good. Okay, so we have a completely empty water tanker. It holds, I believe, 2,000 liters. So nothing too drastic. Okay, first need to fill the tool. I need to drive inside the paddy. Let me see if we have crop destruction. Okay, refill. Before I do that, let's check the water level on the rice paddy. So it's 65%. Now because this is quite a big area, it shouldn't have any effect, but... Look at that, we are refilling. Okay. And what do you say? Still 65. So yeah. What uh, you said in the comments is true, so thank you for this. Uh, which means that you can actually refill the tanker from the flooded rice paddy. And it doesn't affect the water level. Great. Useful information. Because if I take water from that uh, water point, we actually get... Uh, we have to pay money, you know, for getting that water. Okay, mushrooms. Okay, we are full. So, while that worker works, I think... Oh, look at the beautiful trees. Of course, it's spring. The cherries are blooming. At least I think these are cherries. Cherry tree, yeah? Beautiful. Okay, um... Yeah, I think I will go and find another two 
whether they call it farm balls. Of course, you need to put on the helmet. Anyway, uh, we have to go into the direction we were previously. And right at the edge, at the southernmost corner of this map, uh, there should be a collectible waiting for us. What? You're out? Yep, I uh, kind of missed the notification that he ran out of of uh, saplings. So let's provide another pallet. Figures. <laughs> Come on, Lindner, get some pace. Okay, so let's get another full pallet. Just in case so it doesn't run out again. Yeah, this really caught me by surprise. I did think that... Well, actually, no, the field is bigger than this one on this plateau. So I guess it's... It's fair. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, good. And it looks like the worker continues where he or she left off, which is perfect. So, uh, yeah, where was I? Yeah, I was in Lindner with my helmet on. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna go about uh, these two collectibles in two different ways. Uh, the first way is I'm gonna go down there with my motorcycle and we'll collect it. Then I'm going to go get the dragon <laughs> the truck and bring it over so we can load uh, the mushrooms because we have plenty and I'm going to take them to the cell point no oh, actually go back uh, yeah I'm gonna take them to the cell point and we're gonna make some more money uh, so we can slowly start thinking about getting some uh, livestock as I've said, I do want to get the, what are they called, the water buffaloes. Okay, so if you remember, I was here at this pavilion, or gazebo, not too long ago. Let's jog a little. And there is supposedly a collectible somewhere down here under these rocks. But the question is, where? Kind of up there. Maybe around here. There it is. Yay, we got another farm ball. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to take the motorcycle back to our farmhouse. And I'm going to go collect the dragon bring it over and we'll we'll go load the mushrooms and take them to the cell point this is probably going to conclude the episode i might also check if the construction site needs any more materials if they are already through whatever i gave them before 
And luckily we have an off-road bike. I can take a shortcut like this. <laughs> oh man, the physics. Yeah, if you're going through a corner on a motorcycle and lean out like this, you're going to fall. Um, it's inevitable, so <laughs> don't drive like I'm driving on a motorcycle. Oh, man. Good. Come on. Funny, if you turn the engine off, the brakes don't work. Okay, okay, so the wood is still going. Let's go check the temple. And this is also still going. Okay, so I'm going to get the gloves off and I'm gonna get the helmet off. You know, imagine driving around with a helmet in a truck like this. I think you would get a lot of weird looks. <laughs> if I can uh, say this as uh, as gently as I can. The worker has completed the field. <clears throat> so I am returning this Aiziki into our garage. I uh, couldn't unload it, so we g are going to keep all the fertilizer and the saplings in which is a bit of unrealistic, but, but it is. Right, so this place is actually big enough for both machines. Yeah, I guess it is. And now I will load the mushrooms and I will load the rest of the flour. And I'm gonna take everything and sell it at the farmer's market in the center of the town. Because I, uh, even though there might not be the best price I can get on the whole map, it's still, you know, from a standpoint of being a farmer and providing the goods to the people directly, I still think that's a great idea, so I will support it completely. Let's do this. Truck is already here, waiting. And I think I can take... I can stack multiple pallets, one on top of each other. Of another. <laughs> Come on. I just wish this greenhouse wasn't built di directly on a street, you know, on a road. Then I could actually unload in peace without the fear of cars pushing me up and down. Well, I mean, this should be in Noki, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Inoki mushrooms grow faster and they uh, pay much less than the the oyster mushrooms do yeah i can't see it from the inside you know it looked like it was perfectly aligned and it turns out it was way worse than that.
Oh yeah, I think I'm forced to do it from the outside. It is faster, you know, and more comfortable, but it's not as immersive. This should bring a nice income in, I think. Okay, now for the rest of the mushrooms. You know, I remember FS, I think it was 11, that I first loaded onto my computer long long time ago and I was just in awe you can drive a tractor and you can harvest fields and you can sell the wheat and replant and plow and I remember back then the plowing function was not limited to fields you know <laughs> if you went over you went over you had to deal with it so uh, yeah it was such a welcome thing when uh, it was later on introduced where you could actually uh, limit the plow to only work on fields and if you wanted to create fields you would uh, have to press certain key. Uh, that has stayed like that. So uh, yeah, but I remember where we came from, you know. I mean we, you know, the giants, the farming simulator game and how awkward it was to control everything and you had such limited options and each game added something you know and they are building it from well not a very good start or very limited start the, the start was good but it was limited you know so uh, yeah I think the giants and Farming Simulator is doing very well. Very demure. <laughs> okay. Flower. And just put it to the front of the fork this this is a bit heavier because I can see the rear wheels lifting up Yeah, and uh, besides the game, the modding community is, you know, growing, it's expanding, it's uh, getting better and better uh, with each game. And they make such good mods, you know, interesting mods. And I uh, really love the different machines you have, the old style machines you usually have a chance to buy when the modders create them. and the changes to the game they make for example maze plus was amazing in uh, fs 22 and fs 19 i believe and the terra life plus which is uh, about to come to this one so yeah uh, a very bright future awaits us and a lot of content will be made and I am very happy because with uh, so many mods and such extending game, you know, you always have something new to offer, to, to show and to use, you know, to make game a bit more realistic and stuff like that.
anyway, um, let's go get our second farm ball for today. This always makes me think of Dragon Balls, you know, because they look like Dragon Balls, <laughs> except without the stars, they have leaf in it. Uh, so yeah, farm balls. And the next farm ball we are after is at a fuel station somewhere around there, between field 1 and 2. Okay, I think this is the actual gas station, fuel station. And there should be a barrel of oil or something like that, and there you will find the next dragon, a uh, farm ball. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, it's not here. It's not here. Oh, what a beautiful color. And here it is. Woohoo! Okay. Now, last stop, the farmer's market. And I think we're not too far from there. But because of the one-way system streets, I believe we're going to have to go all around through the city and back. Okay, let me take the straps off and we will sell everything. Or not. Okay, it was a bit more forward. So we got paid 13, 16... Five and seven is twenty-three thousand. Wow, beautiful. Okay, and with this, I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>